Oh hi everyone! Mapagpalang araw! Dr. Iris here po. Dito sa channel natin, we talk about two main things. Pagla-level up sa health, pagla-level up sa wealth. Particularly ngayong araw, pag-usapan natin leveling up in our health aspect, particularly yung ating mental health. Isa sa mga bagay, I think, na kailangan nating bigyan ng pansin, kailangang mabigyan ng atensyon ay yung paglaganap ng depression. And today, uh, one very specific aspect of depression ang i-discuss ko po sa inyo. Dahil I believe this is actually one of the biggest things sa mga sintomas. You know, among the, the symptoms na tinatanggap ng DSM-5. So, DSM-5 DSM is yung criteria na sinusundan po ng mga doktor ano po, para makapag-diagnose ng isang pasyento or isang tao ay may depression. So, according to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, Uh, five for mental health diseases or mental health ng isang tao, yung dalawa sa pinakamalaking kumbaga criteria para ma-meet ng isang tao, yung diagnosis ng depression is number one, yung depressed mood for two weeks at least po, ano, minimum and ikalawa is yung walang interest. So, we have lost interest in the things that we normally like doing. We have lost interest or pleasure in things. And ito po yung isa sa mga close to my heart kasi personally when I went through my bout of depression, ito talaga yung pinakamalaki for me. I sensed that I was in uh, depression na nung panahon na alam ko na wala na talaga akong interest in anything. And ang masakla po dito kasi, when this is your main symptom, ang mangyayari kasi niyan, it really prevents you from functioning. Dahil imagine lahat-lahat ng mga bagay na dati-dati, you know, gusto ninyong gawin, suddenly wala na kayong interest. For example, uh, you know, things like going out with your family, going out with your friends, yung mga bagay-bagay that dati motivate you, nawawalan kayo ng, ng interest to pursue those things. And ang nangyayari, when this is your main symptom, it prevents you from actually taking action in your daily life. And ito ngayon ang makaka-apekto ng malaking pamamaraan, uh, it affects your, you know, quality of life in a big way. Kasi imagine kung hindi na po kayo gumagalaw, kung kayo ay wala ng interest to, to even, you know, sometimes it can get so bad, you don't even have interest to get out of bed or kahit man lamang mag-shower. And you know, I know how devastating, devastating this is kasi personally, na-experience ko po yan. Yung talagang ni ayaw mo nang bumangon, you know, ni ayaw mong gumising. Like you just want to sleep in all the time. Uh, wala kang appetite. So, yan po, yung mga sintomas niyan. Wala kang appetite. Um, gusto mo parang lagi ka na natutulog. Wala kang energy. Parang ang bigat-bigat ng katawan mo. Yun nga, wala kang interest. Yung mood mo mababa. Sometimes, in really uh, worst case scenarios, nakakaisip ka na saktan yung sarili mo. So, bakit mahalaga at bakit gusto kong pagtuunan ng pansin yung part about not having pleasure or interest in anything? Well, dahil po, ito yung madaling solusyonan in reality. And uh, I say this because ang um, isa sa mga pinaka pinag-aralan or pinaka malakas yung evidence po, ano? So very evidence-based strategies to help someone get out of depression is yung pag-address sa walang itong pagkakaroon ng walang interest sa mga bagay-bagay. And how do you address that? It's through the strategy called behavioral activation. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi mo feel gumalaw, pero a-action ka. You know, not even thinking about it. You know, just really taking that first step. Kunyari, lugmok na lugmok ka sa, sa pakiramdam mo, depressed na depressed ka. You know, even the smallest step like getting out of bed, yung magbihis ka, yung mag-shower ka, right? This is already behavioral activation. It's better than nothing. And many times, ito pong paggalaw natin, itong action taking, siya yung nagiging antidote doon sa pagkawala ng interest. And before you know it, you know, these little steps, if they add up, at hindi kailangan malalaking steps po, ano? Just like what I said, it can be as simple as even getting out of bed. That's already a huge victory, di ba po nga sa ating low-carb fasting lifestyle? Sinasabi natin lagi, focus on the non-scale victories. Kahit di, hindi bumabagsak yung inyong weight, that's okay. As long as you see changes in your body, in the way that you feel, uh, ito po yung mga non-scale victories natin. Ganun din po sa aspeto ng depression. It doesn't have to be na kayo ay 
completely opposite ng malungkot, right? Na kayo'y masayang-masaya. It doesn't have to be that way. A very small victory can be even the act of getting out of bed. Pero take note that the most important thing here is yung action po. Just like how it is with fear, fear po, ano yung pangangamba? Fear. A lot of the times, you know, it's fear that prevents us from really taking all the opportunities that will change our life forever. Kasi marami tayong mga, you know, uh, you know, misconceptions about ourselves. And so, siguro nung lumalaki tayo ay, uh, you know, marami tayong inisip na you are not enough or hindi inisip but may nagpa-experience sa atin na hindi uh, tayo enough and so lumaki tayo na tayo ay masyadong fearful. Ngayon, ang antidote dyan, katulad din po ng sa ito, sa parting ito ng depression kung saan nawawala, nawawalan ka ng interest, ang antidote dyan is actually taking action. So, yung pagtitake po natin ng action, yun po ang makakapag, kumbaga, pabago ng ating thought process. So, just like how it is in fear, nababago ang ating thought process kapag tayo yung umaaksyon. Ganun din po sa, sa depression. You don't even have to overthink it. Isa yan sa mga bagay-bagay that happens when you are depressed. You tend to ruminate. Ruminate comes from the, the term para pong ano, ano yung mga animals, yung mga um, like cows, mga ganyan po, ano, the, yung mga baka. Sila po, they have a few different, marami silang ano, tiyan. They have stomach, uh, ilan stomachs yata, apat yata or so. And what happens is pag kumain sila, they have to regurgitate that again. So parang regurgitate, yung parang sinusuka ulit nila and then kinakain nilang inunguya ulit. So that's what rumination means. And when you ruminate, ito yung parang isinusuka mo at paulit-ulit mong inunguya yung mga thoughts. And these, uh, these thoughts are not serving you well. Dahil dito naiisip mo how, you know, you are perhaps hopeless, worthless, uh, may, maybe guilty ka about something and it, you keep thinking about that. And so you ruminate. So ngayon, uh, your rumination, uh, for example, you're staying mainly in bed, hindi ka gumagalaw, tapos pa ulit ulit lang yung pag-ruminate mo. Now, when you take action, even a very simple act like maligo ka ngayon, you know, kahit ang sama-sama ng loob mo or really low mood ka ngayon, even that small act, the simple act of maliligo ka, magpapalit ka ng damit mo, that's action-based. So what that action does for you is pinuputol niya yung proseso ng pag-ruminate. And in that way, nawawala ka dun sa vicious cycle, yung loop na talagang nakaka-pull down sa'yo pag ikaw ay depressed or papunta sa depression. And so in my particular case, and you know, we know that this is evidence-based, alam natin, base sa mga pag-aaral, pagsusuri, na action-taking talaga is one of the best uh, interventions pagdating sa, sa depression, yung behavioral activation, behavioral activation, yung uh, act ka, gagalaw ka, isa talaga yan sa, sa the best uh, strategies, of course. Uh, yung ibang tao may need medication, pero kung ayaw ninyo talaga na maggamot and you want to, to try a more natural approach, then ito po yung behavioral activation. Huwag na tayong mag-isip ng masyado, just get on with it. So for example, you know na kailangan mo, for example, maglakad sa labas or mag-gym or whatever it is. Just, you know, get your, your things ready kung saan madali silang i-access. At saka kahit hindi nyo feel, go for it. Just put on your shoes, you know, get out, take a walk. Before you know it, you'll start to feel better. Magsa-start na pong gumana yung ating mga uh, good hormones, yung ating mga endorphins, yung ating mga hormones na nakaka-feel, uh, nakakapagparamdam sa atin na ng kasiyahan or ng you know um, better feelings po ano so yan ay na-activate kapag tayo ay gumagalaw so sometimes we don't need to overthink it kailangan lang talaga nating gumalaw so that's one of the things talaga that I want to emphasize pagdating sa strategies to combat depression of course it may not work for everyone of course uh, some people may need yung parang um, combination po ano ng treatment uh, regimens for example kailangan ng therapy you know psychotherapy perhaps pharmacotherapy so may gamutan kailangan but this also helps a lot yung behavioral activation uh, meditation also helps meditation and movement po ano regular mindful movements like um, yoga for example tai chi qigong mga ganyan po 
And of course, uh, having a strong support system is very important. And yun po, uh, I think yun nga ang pinaka-focus talaga natin, pinaka-madaling gawin is really to just get on with it and don't overthink it. In my particular case, yun po yung nakatulong sa akin. You know, during those times that I struggled to even get out of bed, I just thought to myself, you know, one foot down, one foot down lang na maibaba ko sa kama yung isa kong, you know, paa at sumunod yung kabila. And then, you know, finally you stand up. And then you walk down the hallway, finally, you know, magpalit ka ng damit, finally magshower ka, all those things. Those help a lot. And before you know it, itong small victories na to, just like our non-scale victories, will start to help you. Will start to help you get out of the slump. And hindi yan instant na mangyayari na isang action lang tapos you feel better right away. It's a, it's a compound effect, yung summation yung pag-add up ng no, mga maliliit na action na yon. So for example, today nag-shower ka, the next day finally uh, pinilit mo na yung sarili mo to even go out sa inyong neighborhood. Then before you know it, ayan na, na naiinganyo ka na na pumunta sa grocery for example or tawagan yung kaibigan mo. So it can only compound. Uh, it's important to not expect too much. Just get on with taking the action. So yun lang po ang sharing natin today. I hope na makatulong ito if you are in a very bad state, please seek the help of a professional. Very important po yan, lalo na kapag tayo meron ng mga harms or uh, th thoughts of self-harm. Okay? And it's very important to have a strong uh, community support system. Nandito lang po kami para sa inyo. Join our groups. You are free to share po doon if you need some help. And we certainly are here to support you po. That's it for now. And just get on with it, just do it.